At Graham we're passionate about getting it right the first time and we like to achieve that but we don't always. So we developed a new programme for the training for the graduates and we've rolled out the first one already and I have to say it's been welcomed by everyone involved and so far there's been no non-conformances in concrete so that's a big plus for us. Today what we've done is we've worked collaboratively with our supply chain and what we've done is we've created this course together to achieve improved knowledge and improved skills and what we ultimately want to do is make sure that our guys are getting it right first time. After a few jobs where we'd, we'd noticed that we were having some quality issues with concrete, we felt it would be important to produce a document that would tell people the Graham way of doing it so that our, our graduates and other engineers would understand how we manage concrete and the sorts of checks that we put in place to make sure that we don't have problems. Practical training days like today are, are important for our graduates and even for our experienced people because there's an obvious skills gap that's been created by the, the recession in the past and that skills gap results in a, a, a sort of lack of mentor and a lack of people that can actually train our, our individuals on site. So days like today give, give our graduates and the experienced people an opportunity to learn hands-on skills about what we do in relation to concrete and structures and it gives us an opportunity to, to give them first-hand experience and learning on the field. I found that the practical aspect is beneficial to myself, uh, maybe to others, that you can tell someone 100 times but it never sinks in until they actually get their hands dirty and have a go at themselves. And today was great for that. It was very fun. We actually got a bit more in detail on making simple tests like slums and cubes and found out the importance of them and how it can affect big projects. I just realized today how important it was to get it right the first time. When you're learning about quality, you sort of just say, oh, it's one of those things that you need to do at the end, whereas this is showing you, you know, you need to do it up from the start to get it right and make sure that things are correct with the processes. You're doing it from the start. You're not just like, oh, I'll just sign this bit of paper at the end and that'll mean quality's happy. It's actually saying, no, this is what we're going to do to make sure we don't have to repeat this and it's better to learn the right way first. The graduates were really uh, engaging with the people delivering the course. In a sense, it made me feel proud that we've actually achieved something through this day, you know, and, and that these practical skills will sink in and they're going to come away from today and remember, oh, that was what I seen whenever I was on that programme and I can apply it and I can apply it today. And not only can I apply it in my own job, but I can also teach my colleagues and the next round of graduates coming up. It's knowledge that they've learnt that they can use and they can also spread that knowledge to a wider field.